Welcome bike riders, a slightly different topic today. I'm not reviewing any particular bike lane. I'm going to review some of the information about bicycle infrastructure provided by the City of Greater Geelong. It's a long story, but it starts at when I was casually reading the City of Greater Geelong meeting minutes for the October councillors meeting. I noticed they have reported on page 58 and on page 137 that in 2023 there are 208 kilometres of shared paths and 115 kilometres of bike paths. Bike paths have increased by 31 kilometres from 2022 to 2023. I ride around Geelong a lot and I was really struggling to find 5 kilometres of bike paths, not shared paths. I had a bit of a hunt around on the City of Greater Geelong website and found the active transport maps. I downloaded the maps and had a look. The thing I noted was the legend shows on-road path. Maybe the 115 kilometres of bike paths is referring to these on-road paths. Let's ask the City of Greater Geelong if what they're referring to are these on-road bike paths on this map. Dear councillors and City of Greater Geelong, I was reading the City of Greater Geelong meeting agenda for the last meeting, and I was seeking clarification from COGG about this statistic on page 43 of the document. I go on to ask, I wonder if this figure includes the bike lanes where cars are permitted to park, which may overstate the true figure of bike paths as these lanes are not really usable for bike riders. I got a response fairly quickly, so thanks City of Greater Geelong for the prompt reply. Bike paths fall under Category 7, which typically refers to access paths designed for access and are located outside the road reserve. It goes on to say that on-road bike lanes are usually treated similar to the road surface, unless they are made of different material type or completely separate from the road surface. In terms of our figures, bike lanes are not included in the overall measurements of the bike paths, 115 kilometres. We hope this clarifies the differentiation. So, now I'm even more unsure. The, the map says bike paths, but they are not included. I don't know what Category 7 paths are, and bike paths are just access paths designed for access. Confused? Well, you're not the only one. I did a bit of research on Vic Road's website, and I found a few definitions of bike paths and off-road paths. Let's go back again and seek some more clarification. Dear City of Greater Geelong, I'm still trying to track down the 115 kilometres of bike paths that are mentioned in the meeting minutes. I'm finding it hard to think of anywhere apart from a few places in the city centre that has bike paths that meet the criteria mentioned below. If you have a map showing all 115 kilometres of bike paths and 208 kilometres of shared paths, I'd love to locate them and explore them. It took a while and I'd given up hope, but a big thank you to City of Greater Geelong for getting back to me with the following correspondence. We have attached a map showing the breakdown of the 115 kilometres of dedicated bike paths and the 208 kilometres of shared paths. Wonderful! I'm nearly ready to get exploring. It goes on to say that the data only includes off-road paths and does not include bike lanes on roads, and some repeated text from the previous email. So let's open the map and have a look. Looks like they didn't have a map already made, as it is dated 4th of December 2023. So thanks for making this map specifically for my request. I would have thought this map would already be in existence. Anyway, I'm super excited to get an updated map after finding the problems with the active transport maps on the City of Greater Geelong website. Looking at the legend, there are three categories. Dedicated bike paths, sealed shared paths, and gravel shared paths. There doesn't seem to be much green, which are the dedicated bike paths, on this map. Without the underlying GIS data, it is hard to analyse this accurately, but let's take an estimate. Jeringap, Moorable Street, 2 kilometres. Swanson Street, 1 km, Connect Way, 1 km, a few others, generously, 5 km. That's a total of 9 km. That is about 106 km less than what is stated in the City of Greater Geelong meeting minutes. Let's look at Jaringap Street. As per the definition sent to me earlier, it is in the road reserve and the surface treatment is the same as the road, so it seems to me to make it a bike lane. It is separated but there was no mention of separation in the City of Greater Geelong definition. They said the bike lanes were not included in the figures, so we'll have to exclude this one. Let's move further south to Moorable Street in South Geelong. The bike path, or lane, I'm not sure which it is, shows it continuously from the railway line to the Barwon River. The bike path surface is the same as the road, and it is in the road reserve, so is this a bike lane also that should be excluded? As we get further down, the bike path goes off the road reserve and becomes a shared path. The map shows this as a bike path all the way, so we might have to exclude this section from the bike path stats as well. Maybe the 115 kilometres of bike paths are incorrectly stated on the map and included in the shared paths. I was unable to get a copy of the underlying data for this map, so I digitised the shared paths off the map. 
This way I was able to calculate the lengths. It was a little bit rough as the map was a fairly coarse scale, but I was able to calculate roughly 212 kilometers of shared paths on the map. The meeting minutes state 208 kilometers of shared paths, so it looks like the bike paths have not been included in the shared path statistics. After all these questions and responses, I'm still none the wiser as to where the mysterious 115 kilometers of bike paths are. How far reaching are these stats? Are the stats correct? Is the map correct? Do the readers of the council meeting minutes, i.e. the mayor and the councillors and the ratepayers, simply accept the meeting minutes without question? Are we deliberately being deceived to inflate the active transport stats to meet some target? Or is this an error? The stats show an increase of 31 kilometres in 2023, but I can't even find 31 kilometres in total, let alone an increase of 31 kilometres. I'd still love to know where the 115 kilometres of bike paths are. For more videos on bike infrastructure in Geelong, make sure you subscribe to the Bike Route Buddy.